What if you could smell fresh gunpowder as you fired an AK-47 in a video game? Or your grandmother's perfume as you watched old home movies in VR? Digital scent technology is growing fast and could have massive implications in the future of the metaverse. The metaverse is making some pretty big promises, offering a world that could one day be as indistinguishable and maybe even better than the real world. That's a hard sell for a lot of people, especially when the metaverse currently looks about as realistic as Wii Sports, a game Nintendo released in 2006. Wow. Love 15. But the VR world has been making some pretty wild technological leaps lately. There's cyber shoes that make you feel like you're walking through virtual space, VR gloves that let you use the controllers you're born with, your hands, and haptic vests you can wear to make your body physically feel what you would in virtual reality. But most interesting of all has to be that we're on the cusp of one of the strangest virtual reality breakthroughs that people have been working on since the 1950s, digital scent technology. Welcome to Technality. I'm Alex Malky. Before we dive into what digital scent technology is or how it even works, it's important to understand how we got here because it didn't happen overnight. This smelly story all started with one man, German inventor Hans Lau. From a young age, he believed that everything, even emotions, have a scent. Laub unveiled his first working prototype at the 1939 New York World's Fair, a machine he called Scentovision that could, in theory, produce smells alongside a film in the same way that a soundtrack added music. But the idea fell flat. No one really saw the benefit until nearly two decades later, when American film producer Mike Todd Jr. brought the invention back to life in the late 1950s, rebranding it as Smell-O-Vision, which was an exciting novelty at the time. But while that novelty wore off pretty quickly, the dream of using smells to make entertainment more immersive stuck around. For the next 60 years, people from California to Japan toiled away at finding new ways to make this idea come to life. This is a massive undertaking, and it begs the question, why would this many really smart people from all around the world spend a good amount of money over decades to work on something that some might dismiss as a glorified scratch and sniff? As it turns out, there are a lot of applications for this type of technology. Detox clinics are coupling digitized scents with virtual reality to help treat veterans suffering from PTSD. With smells being so closely tied to memories, it's a way to probe even deeper into a patient's psyche. Field medics use the same tech to train for real world scenarios. Simulating the smell of gunpowder, burning rubber, or every bodily fluid under the sun anchors experiences to trainees' brains far better than just video and sound alone. But the most broad use for something like this is always going to be entertainment. The storytelling in video games and movies can benefit from the added bonus of smell. Now, why would smelling a fire burning nearby in the crisp fall air add to the immersion of a game or film? Well, as it turns out, that whiff you take passes through your amygdala and hippocampus, the parts of your brain related to emotion and memory. Digital sense could be the most important piece of the meta puzzle at convincing people to ditch our world for a brand new one. Okay, so how does this technology even work? Well, there's already a handful of multi-sensory VR headsets on the market right now. And while a lot of them aren't sharing their patented secrets with the rest of us, the smells are created with a base of natural oils. Feel Real has a product on the market right now that uses nine aroma cartridges that can mix and match to create over 250 scents to match whatever your VR headset is showing you. And each one of those scents were exclusively designed by an acclaimed perfumer, perfume critic, and olfactorologist. And they're not the only ones coming up with custom smells. Not only could we be hopping around from one metaverse to another, each of us might be smelling entirely different things, creating divergent memories of the same shared spaces. It's too early to tell what the impact of this technology will be in a social, digital first world. But one thing is for sure, this is just the beginning. But what do you think? Are you excited about the possibilities that digital smells can bring? Or is this a new fad that smells like BS? Drop a comment and let us know. If you enjoyed this video, please do us a solid and hit that subscribe button. That way we can keep bringing you more technality.